if the current governors we have today can hear my voice and take an action I am telling you within three years see, and let no one not quote me wrongly and say prophet says Luo should form their own Kenya no I am saying you form your own economy because the power is in economy we can be the first people to have our own SDR running within all the counties that you can live in Homa Bay but you are working in Kisumu you can be from Kisumu and you are working in Migori and you report on duty on time and you come back home on time if Obama became a president by the world yes I can and I'm telling you as a prophet of God yes you can I'm surely telling you the truth surely change the game you don't have to be killed in the roads but when enough became enough you withdrew from the nation and you decided to form and build your own home it will take you three years but you will be a history and a lesson to the whole world and the world will say learn from Lewis learn from Lewis of Kenya do you know you people you are a complete nation and I'm not saying you divide yourself from Kenya but you develop your home but if you don't show us the way, the way you are being beaten tear gas is the same way your children will be beaten tear gas. It's the same way your great grandchildren will be beaten tear gas. And there is nothing you are leaving for us. It will be tear gas and tear gas and tear gas. Until when Jesus will come back, we will not be able to see him because our eyes will be full of tear gas. Having a message for Chilo Yako, I have a message for James Orengo, I have a message for Peter Anyang Nyongo, I have a message for Gladys Wanga. The first four. If you don't save your own people, your own people will be destroyed. If you don't save the Luo community, they will be destroyed. And four of you sit down and find Raila and talk to him. Tell him to hear the voice of God. Withdraw yourself from demonstration. And come up with a new modern demonstration. Think how you people as a Luo nation, you can build yourselves. God has given you all it takes. Skills, knowledge, education wisdom you are brighter than all communities in kenya when it doesn't work through the left try the right side you can succeed by that and i'm not speaking this because i've changed my mind i have no mind to change because i never had one from the beginning i only had the voice of god But there is a system that is being designed and it has been designed and it's going to be implemented. Your great men and women will be arrested, tortured secretly and publicly to create fear. Then those on the front line will be destroyed. And so, the more your front line men are destroyed, the weaker you are becoming. It will take you years to raise sons and daughters who can have voice on this land. But how about if Luo Nation, because the Bible calls you a Luo Nation, Isaiah chapter 18 talks about you people. Isaiah chapter 18 is about the Cushite and you are the remnants of Cushite. And hear the voice of God and the wisdom of God. If the four governors can decide and come up with economic plan within the Luo nation, do you know Luo's are in Kenya and you are the firstborns, the head, the brightest, the blessed? Do you know you have your brothers in Tanzania? Do you know you have your brothers in Uganda? Do you know you have your brothers in Congo? 
Do you know you have your brothers in Sudan? Do you know you have your brothers in southern Sudan? Do you know? Do you know Luo community, Luo people, you are divided into nine different nations. The Bible says from the prophet Isaiah, you are so mighty you cannot fit in one nation. But the Bible does not say you can't form a nation of economy. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, you are so mighty, you can't fit in one nation. But there is nowhere the Bible says that you can't form a nation. Do you know Luos, you are as far as Nigeria? Do you know you are scattered all over the face of the earth? Do you know you are aggressive and mighty? Do you know one of your great, great, great generational ancestor was one of the wisest man on the face of earth? Do you know Martin Luther was a seed of a Luo? It was by the spirit of the blood he prophesied Obama. How about if Luo, the firstborn in Kenya, You come together and get out of the streets. Stop being butchered. Come back and think of another alternative. Think of how you can change your lives and the future of your children. I am telling you, don't be blind. You have one bullet. And somebody spoke about a bullet. And now I am telling Luo people, you have one bullet. That bullet is still within the gun. But in case that bullet comes out of the gun, that bullet is still inside the pistol. But if it gets outside the pistol, you will be doomed and finished. And that bullet is your very own. Raila Molodinho. As a Luo nation, remove your bullet there is a riddle and a saying in African that says a man of one arrow remaining don't just shoot it anyhow because he knows one thing if the arrow misses the target he will sleep hungry he will always aim at the target How about if you people withdraw and you come back and develop your own nation? How about if Raila was to call today a meeting of all medics who are Luos all over the world for a meeting? He moves to each country, summoning them and meeting with them. We can start the greatest hospitals in Luo land that these people will come seeking for medication from here. And they will give us what we want, which is money. And we shall develop our own people. Raila has great sisters outside here. Some are directors and managers in different institutions all over the world. How about if he was to summon all of those ladies who are his sisters, by virtue that he is their elder brother. And they think of investments. We have the lake lying dry, doing nothing. We can do great projects in, with this lake. Isn't water not life? Look. There is lake in Nakuru, but it was a man-made. Ours is natural. If there is any lake in Victoria, in Rift Valley, I don't know. Unless someone tells me. Do we have any lake in, v in Rift Valley apart from Lake Elementaita? Is it called Lake Naivasha? Do we have any other lake? Huh? Lake what? Baringo. Is it as big as Lake Victoria? So what can we do with this water? Must we be in a state house? Must we always have people who support us when they want what they want and betray us when they feel we can't, they can't get what they want? It's not about Raila anymore. 
It should be about you and your future. And I am speaking to you as a prophet. And one day you will remember my voice. Or your children will judge you for not listening to my voice. Not because I'm important, but because God just made me a prophet. I may have no knowledge of school. I may have no property. But I have one thing that I know I have. I have a gift. And I'm a prophet. How about if we come back together and if we say our engineers, we are going to do fundraising through our governors, raise money. People tell our grandfathers and fathers in the village to donate lands and we start industrials. We come up with industries. How about if we summon all our professors, any professor with a luo, and we say we are starting universities with specific standard, high standard of knowledge. We summon them all over the world. Then you will know we are rich. You will understand we are powerful. And you will know we are mighty. Look at yourself. What do you have apart from going in the streets? I've never spoken about mandamano. I've never in my life. I've never spoken about demonstration. Unless someone comes and tells me, Prophet, you spoke about demonstration on this day. I've never. But today I'm speaking. You don't need to demonstrate and be butchered the way you are being butchered. You don't need to be beaten as rats and mouses. Use your brains. Change the game. Find another alternative. There are so many ways of killing a rat. You don't need to use one way always. Because probably the way you are using the rat has mastered it. How about if you change the tactic? The power of a nation is not the riots in the street. It's the strength of economy. How about if you people come together, all your mighty men, they do a contribution. You start a bank of a low man. And it's an order. Every law must bank in that bank. God will protect me. I'm not against anyone. But I'm a prophet on this land. And I will speak for this land. I'm not a prophet to another land. I'm a prophet to this land. And I will speak for the land where God has placed me for now. Nyanza is big. And now we include our brothers from Kisi, Kuria. And we add our brothers from Busia and Kakamega. They will become the, our, our associates, our partners. See if we shall not control the system. Then we control our finances. I speak as a prophet. James Orengo is not poor. You have had all you ever wanted. Stop thinking about yourself now and start thinking about the lower people of tomorrow. Peter and Yang Nyong, you are not poor. You have enjoyed life. There is nothing you have not tested, Professor. Stop thinking about yourself and start thinking about the lures of tomorrow. Gladys Wanga, you have attained a level that no woman in Luo land has ever attained. The first female governor. There is nothing you have not tested. Stop thinking about yourself and start thinking about your children of tomorrow and that children of your neighbor. Change your game plan before you are totally doomed. Because I am seeing nothing but the graves of lower people. 
if you don't change your pattern. I am seeing nothing but brutality to a lure person. Yes, you are vigilant. The Bible calls you that way. Yes, you are a terrifying man. The Bible names you. But you, have to, you can also change your plan. You can change your system. We have an international airport here. We can fight for it. And make it a hub for all businesses. We have the lake. We can do business with other countries through the lake. We have a gate pass to an international road, Busia here. And we can create our own more because we are bordering TZ, we are bordering Uganda. It doesn't have to be the road. Don't let it be the road until one day you hear you are very sun. Who is now the light and the la and actually I'll tell you Luos, you have one eye but you don't see. And that's why division is being made systematically using the greedy few people we have in our society. People who think about themselves but they don't know the cracks they are making within our future generation. Real laws should summon Raila and tell Raila, you have fought for this nation enough. Today people talk of constitution. Constitution of what? And they never brought it. There will be no constitution if there was no Raila. And that's the truth. He was the pioneer of the constitution. Today, people go around hitting their, their chest. They call themselves governors. Wouldn't they have been governors if Raila did not fight for it? Even when they went around Wakipinga, when they went around saying that they don't want constitution, did they see the benefit of being a governor? So they went around saying that no constitution. Do you remember the, 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 the time of orange and banana? The banana was all about what? And the orange was about what? And orange became Orange Democratic Party, which is the party of who? So who was the, who was the man behind the constitution? The orange is still standing up to date. Where is the banana? It was cooked and eaten. But the orange is still standing. Isn't that not enough? How do you people feel, Luo people, when your very own son is being tear gassed? Can't you stand and say, no, enough is enough. Come back home. We can build our home. We can make our home. We can provide for our home. We are many. We are going to call for help from our brothers because the Bible talks about us. Three years is enough. You will not vie for president. People will come and tell you, please select one of you to be our president so that this power can be distributed all over the country. We have the power to make the entire Kenyan regions to beg for help from us. But the problem you have allowed yourself to be used, you farm you harvest, you prepare, you cook, but others come to eat while you watch. Do you know why they eat and you watch? Because you farmed in their own homes. You prepared in their homes. You cooked from their homes. Because they have the home, you are kicked out when it's time for eating. How about if we farm in our own home? Prepare in our own home. Cook from our own home. Will someone tell us to go out when it's time for eating? Which tribe on earth doesn't know a Luo man from Kenya? 
Look, you have Luos in nine different countries, but the Luo who is known is from Kenya. Valid from Kenya. Respected from Kenya. Honored from Kenya. A prophecy from Kenya. Fulfilled by a Kenyan, Obama. Must you be killed in the streets? Must you riot? Must your homes be known as homes of goons and violent people? Is it not how your homes are referred to? Kibra, Madare, and other places. What are you looking for outside there? What is the difference of Nairobi and Bondo? Bondo is a very big land. Dry, hard, good for investment, for industrialization. The lake is not far from it. If we were to go in Sakwa here and Bondo here, our children will not go out being beaten. begins with your leaders but in every season of life God raises a man with a voice in that season and God does not change the decisions you make he also give opinion of the right decision he had and he leaves you to choose are you going to go with your decision or are you going to take his voice And this can begin. It can begin. If the governors decide to make a meeting, calling the professionals and summoning them, let's go back home and build our home. Wadoguru dala waget dala. Dala odongunda. To baba no we nithindo. To no ponjo nithindo. Gimeo. But Gimeo Oko. Omera Kamimeo Kanyo Ken Koru. Tang. Kise me o ma bel. Kise me o ma bel. To mwandu no poto ma bel. Gibro Riendi. Gibro Doctoru. Badiadi. Doguru Dal. Come back home. Do we have a doctor on this land who can summon all doctors, medical doctors, and tell them, let's come back home. Everybody bring what you went to look for outside there. Bring what you have collected from where you went. All our doctors in America, all our doctors in UK, all our doctors in Europe, all our doctors in Asia, all our doctors in Africa, they come back home and they say, this is what I made when I went outside. And they form a kitty. They can start special hospitals. Not only Kenya will come, but the entire nation of Africa will come. And as they come, they will pay what we tell them to pay. Because what we have what they are looking for. And as they pay, we shall develop. We shall develop. Can we turn our ancient knowledge into tourist attraction? Can we make competition for Ajua and bring trophies? Can we change our old games into tourist attractions? Can we? Can our musicians, Ohangala and Benga people, compose songs of summoning our brothers and our sisters and tell them the bell has rung? 
the horn is blown. Come back home. In your old ancient time, the elders of your communities could only know one of us is missing after one climbs the tallest hill or the tallest mountain and he blows a big horn with the voice of everyone turned back home and people could be counted and so they could realize one of our son is missing. The only horn you have are your musicians. Regardless of where Luo Man is, they play Ohangala. They play Benga. Can they go and sing and return their brothers and sisters back home? And watch in three years if you people not control the entire nation. Watch three years if vehicles will not be driven from Mombasa to Kisumu now, not from Kisumu to Mombasa. If vehicles will not be driven from Nairobi to Kisumu and Nyanza in large. We can make our own fun. We can have Gormaia Siaya, Gormaia Kisumu, Gormaia Migori, Gormaia Homa Bay, playing among themselves. We'll not throw a stone at anyone, but we'll celebrate the game. Must you be beaten in the streets? Is that all you can do? I've never spoke about Mandamano, but today I'm speaking for the first time. And I'm not speaking because I found something to speak. I am speaking because God spoke to me about this, and I've been keeping it. But the more I'm keeping it, the more I'm suffering. The more I am missing and losing my pain, um, my peace. And the more I'm just... Two, three days, some people will realize I've been so harsh. When you talk to me, I respond with a lot of harshness. Because I'm struggling with something inside me. And it's burning me. Because Jeremiah said, the voice of God is like fire within my bones. The more I try to keep it, the more it burns me. And I lose myself. And I'm telling you, you will grow. You will become mighty, not by throwing stones. And a time will come when you will be told, please come and take the seat. And you will ask them, for what? We can make Raila Amolo Dinga our own king, not president. Raila has the blood of kingship, not president. And I'm speaking to you, Raila. You are a king, not a president. Get out of this small game. Come back home. Fix the sons. Leave your sons with a home. We can make Raila the king of Nyanza. And we call it the great Nyanza. Because that was your name from the European. The great Nyanza. And now we tell our brothers in Uganda, come back home, you, we can do business. We tell our brothers in Tanzania, come home and do business. We tell our brothers in Congo, come home and we do business. We tell our brothers in Southern Sudan and Sudan, come home and do business. We tell our brothers in Ethiopia, come and do business. We tell our brothers in Egypt, come home and do business. And they will come and trade with us. They will come by the lake, they will come by the air, they will come by the road, they will come by the rail. What don't you have? Don't you have the lake that forms River Nile? Don't you have the airport? Don't you have the road, Busia route? Don't you have? Dubai is a great place in a desert. It didn't make itself 
some few people who sat and changed the game of their mind changed the game of life and today people are flying to Dubai if you Luo, love good things when you form your own economy and I'm not saying will and let no one not quote me wrongly and say prophet says then who should form you their own Kenya and think. no I am saying you form your own economy who bewitched you because the power is in economy economy of industrialization economy in terms of health and education start the best universities because you have so many professors and so many lecturers those subjects that can't be taught in those other universities let them be introduced in Nyanza change your Asian historical sites into great universities and because you have lecturers people will bring their students whether they like it or not because when there is high demand when there is high demand the price goes where but when there is low demand Raila has good relationship with some industries outside he can start industries here with his colleagues with his friends and with his fellow Luo men let us be the first people in Africa East Africa to start producing Motorola or phones and other electrical or electronic gadgets we can be the first people to have our own SDR running within all the counties that you can live in Homa Bay but you are working in Kisumu you can be from Kisumu and you are working in Migori and you report on duty on time and you come back home on time then people will see you as people who are thinking for the nation not for themselves but when enough became enough you withdrew from the nation and you decided to form and build your own home you can if Obama became a president by the world, yes, I can. And I'm telling you, you are working in Kisumu. You can be from Kisumu and you are working in Migori. And you report on duty, on time, and you come back home on time. Then people will see you as people who are thinking for the nation, not for themselves. But when enough became enough, you withdrew from the nation. And you decided to form and build your own home. You can if obama became a president by the world yes i can and i'm telling you as a prophet of god yes you can when he believed in his slogan yes i can he made it i am telling you if you believe in this prophetic message you shall make it and none of your sons will be brutalized none of your sons will be cut off the pennies none of your daughters will be raped when the husband is being beaten outside there it's just a matter of time you will hear the cases of rapes in, in, in Nyalenda if they can chop off a man's penny what can they do to a woman they find in a house it's just a matter of time because sometimes the case of rape is full of shame somebody might keep it because he or she because she doesn't want the shame but it's a wound that will never heal. And I'm telling you, as a servant of God, I'm surely telling you the truth. Surely, change the game. You don't have to be killed in the roads. Use your brains. You are too intellectual, too wise, too brave. Come and build your home. Come back and build home. Support one another. It will take you three years. But you will be a history and a lesson to the whole world. And the world will say, learn from Lewis. 
Learn from Lewis of Kenya. You have a name which is not good. Not because you are not good people. But you can change that name and get your right name if you, dis if you begin by your leaders. If the current governors we have today can hear my voice and take an action I am telling you within three years look at with your own noise do you even have a microfinance of your own name that belongs to you people leave the bank do you have even a microfinance and are you not the people who are taking loans to buy vehicles So when you pay those monies, where do they go? Leave that one. Do you even have an insurance cover? Any insurance cover you know which belongs to a luo? Please somebody tell me. So you take loan from them and you insure the, the same vehicle from them. You bring up ideas. They say they see the fruits in it. They take the fruit. They throw you the own of ideas. Must you people suffer like that? Must you suffer like that? Do you people know that Kisi land is capable of feeding? The whole Luo land. If Luos can have good relationship with Kisi people, because they belong to Nyanza, you tell them, brothers, because you have good soil for farming, you farm. We are going for this other industrialization. We'll supply you with fertilizers. We are going to form companies of fertilizer production. Do you know couriers down here? They have enough milk to supply the entire Nyanza region. If we, if we decide we want to give them protection, their cows will not be stolen by people from Tanzania. Do you know people from Busia here, they are capable of supplying fruits to the entire nation, to the entire Nyanza region. Do you know you people, you are a complete nation. But I'm not saying you divide yourself from Kenya, but you develop your home. So what are you lacking? Must you be beaten on roads? Is that your portion? Learn your stories from your ancient hero, heroes. Luo should learn their story from Olwanda Magere. When Olwanda Magere became too tough to penetrate, they used friendship to destroy him. And in exchange of their parties of friendship, Didn't we not have beautiful ladies on the land that Olwanda Magere would have married, even if he wanted a million of them? So I have a voice. I have a voice to Babu Owino. I have a voice to who is who is called who and I. Opio. I have a boy, a voice to Miguna Miguna. I have a voice to them. You are the great fathers we are seeing today. And some of you are great grandfathers that we are seeing now. Come back home and show us the way. But if you don't show us the way, the way you are being beaten tear gas is the same way your children will be beaten tear gas. It's the same way your great grandchildren will be beaten tear gas. And there is nothing you are leaving for us. It will be tear gas and tear gas and tear gas. Until when Jesus will come back, we will not be able to see him. Because our eyes will be full of tear gas. And so we will go to hell because we didn't see Jesus coming. But if you show us the way. You know, somebody may ask himself or herself, where is prophet getting all these things from? An angel of the Lord came to me and asked me a question. 
And this was the question he asked me. Lucas. And I said, yes. Lucas is not my name. But I'll use that because that's the name you know. He called me Lucas. And I said, yes. Why do you think Jesus was brought to Africa for 12 years? According to what I know, I said he was brought to Africa for 12 years because somebody wanted to kill him in Jerusalem, from Jerusalem, and all from Bethlehem, and that was Herod. And he said, fine, that is according to the writings. But do you know the divine reason? And I said, no. And he told me, do you know the first man to be a king on earth was who? And I said, the first man to be a king on earth was Ham. And he asked me, do you know the home of Ham? And I said, yes, it was where? And I said, the home of Ham was in Africa. So the first mantle of kingship was in Africa. And I said, yes. And he told he asked me, do you know why every white leader must step in Africa, in one or the other, for his kingship to be stable? Because the mantle of leadership is on the land of Africa. So Jesus was brought to Africa for 12 years to fully attain the power of ruling the 12 tribes of Israel. So each tribe was one year. And I was so shocked. And he asked me, do you know the direct blood hair of kingship in Africa? And then I told him, I know. They are the Kushites. Then he asked me, and why are they being butchered and killed on the road? Can't they use their head? What will you say if you are like me? An angel tells you that thing and you see people dying. What will you do? He leaves you, you can't even eat food. You are finished. Not even energy of eating you don't have. Because he's telling you pure truth. Pure truth that you have never known. And you see it happening. Do you know according to the ancient history, many, many years ago, when the Kushites were rulers, do you know Nandis were cattle men for, for laws? True laws. Do you know that? Do you know that? Do you know lawyers? They were male servant in the home. Do you know that? Change your pattern. Change your game. If you don't change it, you will only maintain and keep one thing. Your forefathers were tear gassed. You are being tear gassed. And your children, children will be tear gassed. But you can change it. And this should begin with your leaders. Don't separate yourself from Kenya. Don't form your own nation. The Bible says you are too many to fit in a nation. If you try, you will fail. The Bible does not say you form a nation. But the Bible says you are a great people. Make yourself great. Make your homes and your towns great nations, great places. But don't form a political boundary nation. Don't form a nation of a president. Raise a king. Raise a king. See. See if they will not come seeking for knowledge. See if they will not come seeking for help. And when they shall be on their knees, you shall rule them. When they fall at their knees, you will not ask them for the throne. They will voluntarily give the throne.
I am telling you the truth. Because lawyers, they are just in Kenya and few of them in Uganda. End of them. Kikuyus, they are just in Kenya and few of them in Tanzania. Full stop. Kambas, they are in Kenya, few of them in Tanzania. Full stop. Nandis, they are just in Kenya. Where else? Few of them in Uganda. Full stop. Luos are in nine different countries. Rightful owners of those places. Because Isaiah said, you cannot fit in one nation. So those who say I'm um, speaking my own things, go and read the book of Isaiah chapter 18. It's talking about you people. Tall people, aggressive people. You are too many who cannot fit in one nation. So you must be scattered. You are scattered by God into different nations. And do you know why? Some, those who are in Congo, they are making the tail. Because River Nile enters Congo through a tail. True or false? Those who are in Uganda, those who are in Ethiopia, those who are in Sudan, they are making legs, bones, tail, but you are the head. That's why this place is called Winam, the head of the lake. And when the head of a man is useless, the whole body is useless. Can your head be useless and your body is useful? For what function? The power of a man is the head. You are the head. King David in the book of Psalms says, When a Kushat nation shall come together in unity, and they climb the mountain and they put the banner, the whole world will be saved. If you are the head of the lake, we numb. If you are the head of the lake, then the head must start thinking. You are the head and you must start thinking as the head. Put down stones and lift up your minds, your skills. I've spoken as a prophet. May God raise someone who will pick up the prophecy and make the fire start burning. May God raise an intelligent man. May God raise an intelligent young woman who can pick up the voice of the prophet and start running with it. And one day people will recall my words and they will say once a time there was a prophet in the city of Kisumu. He prophesied this and he told us to take this direction. It will take you people the shortest time people ever imagined. The shortest time. Nyanza is a great land. And before Western was formed and others, it used to be called the Great Nyanza. Go back to your great times. Why were you called the Great? And you will revive your life. And rioting, tear gassing, being beaten like dogs will be a history that your children will read from the books. May God help you. 